Hello guys and welcome. Today we have this interesting question right here. We have x to the third power plus x to the fourth power plus x to the third plus x to the second plus x plus one is equal to zero. And we have to find all solutions to the problem. In fact, all solutions, not only real solutions. And because the highest power right here is five means that at the end of the day, we are supposed to get five different solutions. And the question looks a little bit scary, isn't it? So how do we start? That is the problem, you know? I have an idea. Here's the deal. First of all, I'm gonna group this into two. Check this out. I'm gonna group these terms and then group these terms as well. The reason is that from, right from here, we can factor out x to the third power. So see, we have x to the third power right here, then we'll be left with x to the second power plus x plus one and plus right here, nothing can be factored except one. Therefore, we can write the exact same thing. x to the second power plus x plus one. And this is zero. And now what do we see? You can clearly see that what is here is the exact same as what is here. Therefore, we can also factor that out. Interesting. So we have x to the second power plus x plus one. Then from here, you'll be left with x to the third power. Then right from here, we are left with only one. And this is zero. Cool, isn't it? And that is cool, right? Yeah. Now, let's pay attention to this x to the third power plus one right here. This is the same as x to the third power plus one to the third power, of which we can get so many factors from this. In fact, three factors from this. So let's go ahead and then use an algebraic identity that we can find the factors of x to the third power plus one from. We know that a to the third power plus b to the third power, which is the same as this right here, and it's the same as this one, is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. This is an algebraic identity, so we can rewrite this factor right here in this form. Therefore, we're going to have x to the third power plus 1 is the same as x plus 1 times x to the second power minus x plus 1. Nice, right? In place of this right here, we're going to replace that with this. Therefore, this equation here is the same as 1. And this is equal to 0. Now, at this point, we can write three equations for this. So I'm going to get rid of what is here and then write the three equations that we have so far. The first equation is gonna be this one. So we have x to the second power plus x plus one is equal to zero at the first one. Then the second equation is gonna be this one, x plus one is equal to zero. And lastly, the third equation is gonna be x to the second power minus x plus one is equal to zero. And I can get rid of this one as well. Now, looking at the nature of this quadratic equation right here, we can't use factoring method to solve. Therefore, it would be better for us to use the quadratic formula, which is given by x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Interesting. What is our a? What is our b? What is our c? The coefficient of x squared is our a. The coefficient of x is our b. Then the constant is our c. Interesting. So. We have, right from here, we have x is equal to minus b, b is 1, then plus or minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1, then 4 divided by 2 times a, where a is 1. Cool. So we have x is equal to minus 1, plus or minus 1 squared is 1, minus 4 times 1 times 1, that is 4, so everything right here is negative 3. So we have negative 3 right here, all divided by 2. Cool. And we can break this down. This equation right here is actually going to be x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i times square root of 3, all divided by 
2, and that is the answer for this quadratic equation. And now let's come back to this equation. Here, we're going to subtract 1 from each side so that we get x is equal to negative 1. And pretty much we are done. Then from this equation, looking at the data like this one, you have to make use of the quadratic formula. Therefore, we're going to have x is equal to negative. Now, b this time is negative. So this is going to be negative, negative 1. Then plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared. Then minus 4 times 1 times 1. Or divided by 2 times a, we have a to be 1. And that is it. Nice. So we have x is equal to 1, because negative, negative. Then plus or minus square root of negative 3, all divided by 2. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have x is equal to 1, plus or minus square root of 3i, divided by 2. Because, the reason why this is 3i is because square root of negative 3 is actually square root of negative 1 times square root of 3. And we know that square root of negative 1 is simply i. That is how can we have this. Here we have two solutions. Here we have two solutions and plus this one, making five solutions. So guys, this is pretty interesting question. Make sure you subscribe or follow me wherever you are watching me from. YouTube, uh, Facebook, or um, TikTok. Make sure you follow me. Thanks for watching and that's it. Cool, huh? Bye-bye.